Hey everybody, I'm Bill and I'm on the water. Here I'm with Rob Paris again from yeah. Mako. We're How's everybody? We're doing good. You know why? Because right behind us is the newest boat in the line, correct? Yeah, the new 236 Mako. Beautiful. You have yeah. a lot of traffic up here. Well, I, there has been four to six people on this boat since they opened the doors four days ago. It's been wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah. So let's start and talk about the hull. Well, you know, the hull, our traditional 234 that's been around for a while, you know, we didn't we didn't mess with that. That's still that's still a good right. running surface. We tweaked it a little bit, uh, changed a little bit of dead rise here and there, but the, for the most part, that part's the same. Uh, everything else on the boat has basically been completely redone. A lot more amenities, a right. lot more fishing features, right. and then a, a whole bunch more family features. A little more bling on that boat. A little more bling, a lot more comfort. So the boat was really comfortable, but yet we still kept the fishing, the fishing aspect in mind. Fantastic. So when we're at the aft, you know, we have a couple different power options, separate from the one that's here today. Right? We do. So the boat's rated for up to 350, which is more than the predecessor. Right. Uh, so you can still do twins on the boat, but we actually recommend around 300 single. Uh, the boat actually is performing a little bit better with the single engine than Less with weight. the twins. Less weight, a little, little quicker out of the hole, it seems like. Right. Um, for now. You know, right, right. But uh, you know, right now, up to a 350. Hey, on this size boat, I noticed something new on the side there. What do we have? We have actually put a side entry door, tuna door, swim door, That's dive awesome. door, whatever you want to call it. We've added to a 23 foot boat. It's a really nice feature. And you can get in and out of the boat. You just don't have to use a fishing. Right? That's right. You can get in and out. Yeah, it's standard on the boat. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Flip down seating, give us a little more fishability. Yeah, definitely flip down seating we've changed several things in the back of the boat one is we've moved the live well from a from a, a leaning post uh, standard to now dual live wells in the transom right so we've, we've made that uh, separated and, and added some, some live well capacity and we have a couple different leaning posts uh, options as we well, do correct? we have a, a new uh, aluminum leaning post with a slide out cooler very comfortable bolster seating that's going to be your standard you can still add a, a live well leaning post fiberglass piece with additional live wells to bring up the three live wells on the boat uh, for those that really have need to have a lot of live bait. Yeah. So the big noticeable difference I see is your helm. The helm is really nice. It really, uh, we've changed a lot of things. One is there's no real switches on it. We've gone to uh, digital switching. Everything's integrated through the electronics, so the boat comes standard with electronics features. Um, that's a really nice feature. Of course, we got lights so we can look good at night going up to the dock, correct? Yeah, yeah we have, have some great under gunnel lights, some great overhead lights. Again, with the new digital stuff, we can dim things. Uh, everything's LED, so really great control as far as your lighting capabilities. And as we move up to the front, that's where the family part of this boat really takes over, correct? Yeah. Standard forward seating with backrest, very comfortable, done a uh, super great uh, support foam wise. Very high-end uh, upholstery. Right. Also has uh, filler pads if you want that. Table, raised table. Shade, get shade. Sun shades are actually for fore and aft or, or an option on the boat. You can do a windlass. The windlass, the anchors through the bow, through the nose of the boat, through the bow, so it's not up on top anymore. That's an incredible option at this size boat. Too. Yeah, great. And also a full head, a full uh, porcelain head. A lot of room. A lot of room. It's over six foot tall down below. That's awesome. Yeah. So if you're looking for more information on this boat, I'm going to put the link below. Click on it. But more importantly, get out to see this boat and take it for a sea trial and see what it's all about. Oh, correct? definitely. Yeah. Or, you know, local dealer, makeaboats.com. Check it out. Uh, we'll be seeing you at all the boat shows from here. Pretty awesome. Hey, so for Rob, Bill, we're out on the water. Hey guys, I sure hope you love this video. If so, please hit the like button, but more importantly, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more videos. I'm your source for everything that's boating, yachting, everything to do with that waterfront lifestyle. Because I'm Bill, and I'm out on the water. Till next time, everybody.